I'm Tiam Singh, your instructor. Glad that you can join me again. One of the issues of 3D software in AEC is the ability to quickly create deliverables from what you have modeled in 3D. In this second part of Structural Steer Challenge, we are going to show you how we can quickly create the deliverable and at the same time show you some of the settings that affect our output. We will be looking at view of material, we look at parts drawing, assembly drawings, and general arrangement drawings. Let's start going through the process of creating these deliverables. We start by choosing the power bill output, and let's open the shape manager. The system comes with a set of standard templates for bill of material. You can choose any of them and you generate the bill of material. Let's generate a parts list. There are a few methods of generating this bill of material. Let's generate a list for the whole project. The list is in Excel form. The first column is the piece mark number that the system has assigned to the individual parts. Let's do another one, the cutting list with images. Let's do at the settings. In the column order window, you can Choose which column to display in your report. You can also choose the order which it is being displayed. You can also assign the sorting order as well as the... It is also possible to generate a subtotal. Let's generate our cutting list with image report. You can see the weight column that we have added in, as well as you can now see the images of the individual parts. Let's create a new template. We start by choosing any of the existing template for our new template. You can see how easy it is to create a new template and you can modify this newly created template. Let's create the parts drawing for an assembly. We select the assembly in the assembly windows and use generate parts and assembly drawing. We can lock the assembly using revision control for the assembly that we have generated drawings, but for this case, we'll do continue without locking. Let's generate the legs and members without generating the assembly. The system is now generating the assembly drawings and the parts drawing. In the sheet windows, you can see the various parts drawing and the assembly drawings. Let me show you some of these drawings. In the parts drawing, we have put different parts into a single sheet. The number of sheets depends on the size of your sheet. So you can also choose to put one part in one sheet. Let's look at some of the settings for the drawings. We can change the size of the sheet.
you see there's an option for allow multiple part on single sheet. You also can change the format and scale of the different parts. Next, let me show you the configuration for the sheet layout. You can change the dimension star, the location of the build template, as well as the location of the frame. Let's zoom into the dimension settings. You can modify how the parts are dimensioned in the view. You can see the various settings for a generation of parts. Now let's look at the assembly. Right below, you can see the list of assemblies and the numbers for the assemblies are generated when we create deliverables. The position tab will show you the individual parts. This list is actually the link between the 2D and the 3D. We can select the assembly and add them to a new sheet or we can see the assembly in a 3D window. Let's show the assembly in a 3D window. From the 3D view, you can navigate to the 2D by using the open position drawing or open assembly drawing. Let's select Open Assembly Drawing. We can modify each of the individual view in this drawing. We select Settings. And you can navigate to the various view. Perhaps we want to align the column 3D view with the model Z axis. We can change the number of side views. As the setting has changed, you can see that the Assembly is now in red color. Let's delete and regenerate this assembly. Let's look at the settings again. You can delete individual views. You can check on the default dimensions. And there are really a lot of settings you can change to make this process as automated as possible. The next deliver that I'm going to show you is the general arrangement drawing. We use the add new plan view to start this drawing.
Let's create a brand view based on WCS. Let's leave everything as default and change the scale to 1 is 200 for our brand view. That's our plan view from 000. Let's create a section view from this plan view. We use the draw section feature. Let's select where the section view should look at. Let's use the default setting for the sections and let's place our section view. Let's do a detail view from our section view. Let's use the detail feature. We window in on the location. We choose the scale that we want to use. Let's use the default options and place the position for the details. As we are adding view, we are creating cameras in our project. Let's take a look at the camera in 3D. We can modify the view using the grips that you see with the view. You can make it smaller, you can change its location. Let's go back to the 2D view. And let's refresh the view. For the individual view, there are a lot of settings you can set for the appearance of the view, including things like invisible holes, the scale, etc. Once we have modified the setting, we just have to refresh it. Now you can see the bolts. We can move the position of the view by dragging it. You will notice that for a detailed view, the camera is a box. For the sectional and plan view, the camera is represented by the plane and the front and back position. Let's change the front position for the plan view camera. Now let's go back to the sheet and we can refresh the views. You can see that the plan view will show the roof now as we have lifted the 
front of the camera to be 20 meters high. Let's see how we can get rid of the bracing from the section view. As the bracing is in the same plane as the columns, we use the include and exclude parts to allow us to remove the bracing. Let's go back to the 2D view and refresh the view. There's one more important thing that I'd like to show you. It's about the annotations of the view. In the para view output, you can use the functions in the annotation panel to actually do this. Let's annotate all the parts in the detail view. and we can continue for the rest of the views. There are many functions to do automated annotations and dimensioning. You can see that producing drawings in Power BI is relatively easy. I hope you can try it for yourself. We hope you can take up the challenge to use Parabir and feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching. See you again. Bye.